guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So as you can see in our thumbnail, we're gonna talk about how to apply a child uh, Canadian passport. So based on my experience, since I have already applied for a uh, Canadian passport for my two girls, for my two daughters, so here. So <clears throat> the processing time is due to four weeks, guys, but mine came like two weeks. So yeah, so yeah, two weeks minimum of two weeks it will arrive once you apply if you send your passport application like a special in a special yeah like in one just one day they will send it right away but you have to pay for the post postage yeah for the stamp for to make it a special delivery so this one i got it from uh shoppers this application form with the mail envelope mailing envelope and if you could also download the forms from uh, the, the online and you could print the you could download and print the application for the passport passport application forms yeah so yes so this time guys i'm gonna apply for my son passport not only for traveling you could also use it for uh, special identification personal identification so so it has many purposes not only for travel travel documents but also serves as a uh, important uh, documentation of uh, identification yeah so let's proceed so i have here a form from shoppers and once you completed all the forms here this uh, uh, this one i already here is my copy that i already signed uh fill up i'm showing you the the one without uh yeah so you have idea what to inside of these forms so by the way guys before we proceed i'm just gonna say that uh, when i applied for my two daughters it's not uh, complicated for me to uh, uh, fill up those forms because i'm not yet single mother that time i have my husband as a as a guarantor to sign for those uh, special uh, uh was that special things special part in these forms and also my mom-in-law as one of the ref reference she's also canadian and she could be a guarantor or a, ref a reference because uh, if your husband is a canadian he could apply as a guarantor as well yeah so for this time as a single mom with my son and i'm applying for my son it's kind of complicated because you have to provide so many documents yeah but luckily thanks god i got to complete the require the requirements since i already checked everything here it says complete both pages of the form and enclose all the doc documents required enclose two passport photos and enclose the current fee which is the information of your uh visa card and you could also uh put uh, a check if you would if you want if you prefer that and it says that if you submit your password application by mail please read the instructions to find out where you should send it before based on your location so i'm sending it to got to know quebec yeah canada qc is like quebec right yeah and i put on the top is my uh, address and yes let's proceed before i show you mine i'll show you first the these forms that without my uh yung wala pang sulat wala pang hindi pa na fill up pa yung taga ang hirap english din <laughs> so it's a child general passport guys this one so let's talk about this first because the other forms here is about your credit card information and yeah all the things all the special things here yeah all you just need to do is just read this <laughs> and everything's gonna be fine <laughs> But since uh, I could, I hope this could be helpful to single moms out there that will apply for your for your child. So here, the first one is the child general information. Yeah, all the names and addresses. Uh, yeah, all the information about your child. And then the second one is information on applicant parent and other parent. So as the mother, I'm the one applying for it. Yeah, and they're here. The applicant is the mother, and then the other parent or legal guardian. I I leave it blank because I'm a single mom, and I have the full custody right now of my kids. 
So I also send a document or explanation why why I leave it blank because yeah I explain everything I hope they will uh, understand my explanation and grant the passport application and yes here because it requires two parent signature here and since I'm a single mom so I hope uh, my signature they will accept my signature and yes so and then next page guys at the back Oops. Previous Canadian travel document. So this is my first time to uh, apply for my kid, for my child. So I don't need that. I, do, uh, I just say no. And then proof of Canadian citizenship. Citizenship. And uh, yeah, I use this uh, birth certificate of my son and the declaration of applicant. Uh, relationship to the child, mother, and then my signature again. So many signature here, guys. And then number six is the declaration of guarantor, which is you need a pa uh, the guarantor should have a valid passport, guys, a Canadian passport, and the guarantor should uh, at least you know the guarantor at least two years. Yeah. So for my case, I have a friend. I know I've known her for five years. And she already has a Canadian passport. So, yeah, I asked a favor from her. Yeah. So, for emer emergency contact information, yeah. So, this one is just uh, maybe some relatives, some friends, some close friends. You don't need a Canadian passport for the emergency contact, only the guarantor. So, the guarantor plays an important role in applying your pass passport applying a passport for your child so yeah so last time uh, my husband has a valid Canadian passport so I used that as well and let's proceed to the other forms because there's two sets of forms for this one is uh, more information about who may apply for the passport for a child requirements checklist you have to check everything and then five-year validity guys uh, 57 dollars $57 if your where the application is made in Canada, but you have to pay hundred dollars five year validity where the application is made from the USA. So yeah, after that, guys. Uh, yeah, for child guys, there's only five years, but for adult passport application, uh, you have an option five years or ten years. Yeah, and then here there's credit info credit card information on this on the lower part of this form where you could use your visa mastercard or american express and you will put the 57 dollar there and they will deduct that the day that they're processing the application uh yeah i will mail this but you could also go to your nearest uh, service canada where you could walk in and do this application uh, submit your application forms but for me, uh, yeah, I don't have a car. It's so hard to drop, to do the traveling with a kid in a stroller. So I'll just uh, mail, drop it by mail and just pay special delivery. Yeah. So here, another information. Yeah, that's everything about it, guys. This is the second. So there's two sets of forms here. But here, on the second one, is only for credit card information and some uh, important additional information about applying for a, a child general passport and yeah and this one they sent it by express post express post and it says here national and yeah and don't worry about the original documents that you're gonna send because so yes guys about the uh, original documents that you're sending that sending in on your mail uh, on your application forms uh don't worry about that because uh, they're gonna send it back to you together with the passport and yeah here's what's inside of my application forms i have here the uh birth certificate the original one and then i have here a photo of my son and the guarantor should sign at the other photo here and then the date here and then the photo should be within six months uh from the time of your from the time you submitted your application and here i already filled up this uh two for the forms and then i also gonna send in the live uh certified through certified through copy of 
uh, statement of like bird where uh, it's gonna uh, give this is a proof of my parentage as uh, to prove that I'm the mother of my child that um, uh, yeah that I'm the mother of the child that I'm applying of Canadian passport and some important documents where and a letter of explanation where I explain why I'm only the one parent uh, in this uh, application forms so yeah so I hope it could be helpful for those uh, single moms as well especially because this time is uh, kind of complicated I hope they're gonna uh, still grant me a uh, passport for my child uh, not to take him back home but to uh, as additional uh, identification for my child because uh, his sister has a passport wherein uh, it's already gonna be expired soon but it's okay I, I still could use it as a uh, documents or a special a special identification for them when because they could it could be useful when you when they uh, register for school yeah they need uh, IDs yeah I could use that as an IDs and yeah that's it was inside of my Canadian uh, child pa child passport application guys so I already checked everything here before I'm gonna send it and I'm gonna double check the date that I'm gonna sign these forms because I don't want to miss out something here so it won't delay and yeah so it's gonna be a smooth process so yes thank you so much for watching guys so I also gonna do some detailed uh, detailed explanation of <coughs> yeah the of how to apply for a child Canada's pa Canadian passport showing you on the screen uh, what to fill up yeah something like that so thank you so much for watching guys uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you again next time take care and God bless bye take care and God bless guys bye bye <coughs>